For months, astronomers believed they knew what they were dealing with. A frozen relic from another star. A visitor older than Earth, drifting through our solar system for the first and only time. A comet, yes, but an interstellar one, rare beyond calculation. A cosmic messenger carrying chemistry from a different sun. But then something happened. Something so violent, so sudden, so unexplainable, that even NASA hesitated to comment. Because according to the latest analysis from Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, 3i Atlas, the third interstellar object ever discovered, may have undergone a catastrophic explosion, shattering into at least 16 separate fragments somewhere around perihelion. And the strangest part is this. The evidence doesn't look like a natural breakup. It looks structured, organized, almost controlled. This is the story of how an object born around another star system may have torn itself apart, or activated, right in front of us. And if the data is correct, we are about to witness something unprecedented in the history of modern astronomy. The real-time death, or transformation, of an interstellar traveler tonight. We're diving deep into NASA's numbers, Webb's infrared scans, Hubble's diameter limits, and the British Astronomical Association's shocking images to understand whether 3i Atlas truly fragmented, and whether the pattern of those fragments suggests something natural or something far stranger. Because once you see what astronomers captured in early November, you will never look at a comet the same way again. The story begins innocently, July 1st, 2025. Chile's Atlas Survey Telescope spots a faint object drifting into the inner solar system. At first, nothing seems unusual, other than the fact that it's interstellar, only the third such object ever found, after Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. But in late August, the James Webb Space Telescope captures something astonishing. Using the ultra-sensitive NIRSPEC instrument, Webb detects a colossal carbon dioxide gas coma stretching 348,000 kilometers across, almost the distance from Earth to the Moon. At this stage, it looks like a typical, though unusually active, comet. Except, certain chemical ratios inside that coma aren't right. Iron and nickel appear in strange proportions molecules don't match expected patterns. Still, astronomers chalk it up to exotic interstellar chemistry, after all, this thing was born around another star. Maybe it's just different. Then September passes. October arrives. And as 3i Atlas drifts toward its closest approach to the sun, the real anomalies begin. As Atlas nears perihelion, astronomers start noticing something deeply unsettling. The comet isn't slowing down under the sun's gravity. It's speeding up. The Harvard tracked numbers show a radial acceleration of 1.1 times 10 to the negative sixth astronomical units per day squared, and a transverse acceleration of 3.7 times 10 to the negative seventh astronomical units per day squared, resulting in a cumulative increase of 94 kilometers per day squared at perihelion. To put that in perspective, the object was already moving at 150,000 miles per hour, yet it somehow found more speed, without any visible force acting on it. According to standard comet physics, the only explanation is outgassing. But if outgassing were the cause, Atlas must have been losing unimaginable amounts of material. And that is exactly what astronomers began calculating. Between early August and late October, the mass loss rate exploded from 330 kilograms per second to nearly 2 million kilograms per second, a factor of 6,000 times increase. This is where the alarms began to ring. This is where the math stopped making sense. Because even for a comet under solar stress, this jump is absurd, like a block of ice suddenly becoming a volcano. Something was happening inside Atlas, something building, something pressurizing. And then the comet began glowing blue, an unnatural color for outgassing dust. Nature does not glow blue unless something very specific and very hot is happening. Astronomers knew the moment of truth was coming. Here is where the entire cometary explanation collapses. At perihelion, the sun delivered 700 joules per square meter per second to 3i Atlas. For the comet to sublimate enough ice to explain the mass loss rates, it would need a surface area of 617 square miles, the equivalent of a sphere 14.3 kilometers across, 
But the Hubble Space Telescope imaged the object just three weeks after discovery, and its nucleus could be no larger than one to two kilometers across. Not even close, 16 times too small. Which means only one thing, either the comet grew, impossible, or it shattered. This is the exact moment Avi Loeb steps in. Loeb realizes something extraordinary. If three I atlas split into 16 fragments, each fragment would have its own surface area, and the combined surface area would match the required 14 kilometer value exactly. The math is perfect. Too perfect. 16 fragments equals 16 times the surface area, exactly the number needed to match the insane mass loss readings. This isn't guesswork. This isn't speculation. It's cold, hard astrophysics, published by Harvard's top theoretical researcher. And so, on November 10th, Loeb releases his analysis. 3i Atlas likely exploded into at least 16 pieces, but the Harvard paper introduces a darker question, one that scientists hate to ask. What if the breakup wasn't caused by the sun, but by a mechanism inside the object? If a comet breaks into 16 pieces, we should see chaos, disorganized debris, random plumes, uneven gas clouds. But that's not what astronomers saw. On November 9th, British observers Michael Butner and Frank Nebling capture a set of photographs that change everything. These aren't amateur snapshots. These are high-precision, fully-processed astronomical images. The pictures show an anti-tail pointing toward the sun too, perfectly organized anti-tail jets stretching 950,000 kilometers, a main collimated jet extending 2.85 million kilometers, more structure than any natural comet should ever produce. This is not random. This is geometry. This is directional organization. The very next day, astronomers Jagger, Riemann, and Prosperberry capture at least seven distinct jets, all aligned in a coordinated pattern. Natural fragmentation looks messy. This looks engineered. Loeb calculates that the comet is shedding 50 billion tons per month, yet the fragments remain coherent. Something is driving these jets, and it is not passive ice sublimation. Astronomers try to push back. Comet's fragment. We've seen it before. Yes, Comet 73P Schwassmann Wachmann did it. Yes, Comet NEOWISE behaved strangely. But fragmentation always has fingerprints. Internal temperature rise, crack propagation, uneven mass ejection, diffuse hazy debris, chaotic jets in random directions. 3i Atlas displays none of these. The jets are clean, straight, collimated, aligned. It's like watching controlled thrusters firing. Thermal modeling shows the internal temperature shouldn't have reached the threshold needed for a catastrophic breakup. The timeline is wrong. The physics don't match. The patterns don't fit. The official explanation is natural breakup, but the evidence is pushing back hard. At this point, Avi Loeb introduces the hypothesis he knew would ignite controversy. If natural comet physics cannot explain, the mass loss, the acceleration, the organization, the sustained, jets, the angular symmetry, the ecliptic alignment, and the surface area problem, then we must consider alternatives. His exact wording, technological thrusters can achieve much higher exhaust velocities than natural sublimation. Meaning, if Atlas is artificial, then the fuel requirements would be tiny, the mass loss patterns would match, the jets would appear collimated, the anti-tail could be intentional, the acceleration would be trivial to achieve. He isn't claiming it's a spacecraft. He is saying, we must stay open to every interpretation. For the first time in history, a Harvard astrophysicist is telling the world, this interstellar object might not be natural. As of November 11th, 3i Atlas has re-emerged from behind the sun. Now, for the next seven weeks, until its closest approach on December 19th, humanity has a once-in-a-civilization chance to observe it. Hubble will perform ultraviolet spectroscopy. Webb will analyze its molecular emissions. Mars orbiters have already imaged it during solar conjunction. Earth observatories are on full alert. Whatever 3i Atlas truly is, a fragmented comet, a relic from another system, or something engineered, we are watching the truth unfold in real time. This is the most intensively studied interstellar object in human history, and once it leaves in early 2026, it will never return. The questions left unanswered will remain unanswered forever, unless we solve them now.
As the last images of 3i Atlas flicker across the world's telescopes, something settles over the scientific community. Not clarity, not certainty, but a profound, almost unsettling silence. Because for the first time since humanity learned to track the sky, we are witnessing the death, or the transformation, of an interstellar traveler in real time. And nothing about this breakup feels random. Nothing about it feels accidental. Instead, what we see looks coordinated, precise, almost choreographed, as if the object didn't fragment because it failed, but because it completed something. Think about that. A comet from another star system, older than any civilization Earth has ever known, enters our solar system carrying strange chemistry, impossible acceleration, organized jets, and a structure that defies every natural explanation. And then, at the exact moment when its mass loss calculations break physics, it splits into 16 pieces, not 15, not 20, 16. The exact number needed to match the surface area problem that had baffled astronomers for weeks. It's as if the universe were solving its own equation, and once you see the pattern, you cannot unsee it. The collimated jets like thrusters, the anti-tail pointing toward the sun, the perfectly aligned fragments radiating outward, not like debris, but like petals opening the color shift to electric blue, as if an internal mechanism overloaded before release. The acceleration spike that followed, as though the breakup liberated something. Energy, momentum, or purpose NASA can call this a natural fragmentation event. Harvard can calculate the physics with complete neutrality. The British Astronomical Association can capture the jets in stunning detail. But nothing, absolutely nothing, in this event behaves like an ordinary comet meeting its end. And that's what scares astronomers the most. Because if this breakup wasn't natural, then what was it? A self-destruct? A programmed decoupling? A release of autonomous probes? A mechanism triggered by solar proximity? A catastrophic failure of something ancient and technological? Or something even stranger? A process that we don't yet have a name for? A phenomenon born from physics not found in our textbook's interstellar visitor? Or interstellar artifact? The truth is that no one knows. And maybe that's the part that feels the heaviest. Because as the fragments drift away, each following its own path through the solar wind, each still producing controlled, directional jets, each glowing with that same unnatural blue, it feels less like a shattered ice ball and more like a system transitioning into its next phase, a metamorphosis, not a collapse. A message delivered through destruction, a purpose disguised as ruin. And as 3i Atlas continues to recede toward the outer solar system, broken, yes, but eerily functional, it leaves humanity not with answers, but with a question far older than science. Are we witnessing the death of a comet, or the rebirth of something built long before we learned to look up? Because if this object truly activated itself at perihelion, if those jets were intentional, if the breakup was a sequence rather than an accident, then we may have just watched the first interstellar machine in human history perform an operation designed eons ago, not for us, not with us in mind, but seen by us all the same. And now, as it drifts away into the black, the only thing we are certain of is this. We will never see it again. This was our one chance, our one moment to witness a visitor from beyond, to study it, to understand it, to listen to what it had to say. And whatever message it carried, whatever truth it encoded in its motion and its silence, it is now scattered across the void in 16 silent pieces. If this story left you wondering what else is hiding in the darkness between the stars, don't let that curiosity fade. Subscribe to the channel, because this is only the beginning of what astronomers will uncover in the coming weeks. Turn on notifications, Updates on the 16 fragments will arrive any day now, and you'll want to know the moment they do. And tell us in the comments, do you think 3i Atlas broke apart naturally? Or did we just witness the activation of an interstellar mechanism older than Earth itself?